Hi guys, and this is the next part of our R2D2 tutorial here in Blender. So I've just been um, working in a time-lapse mode on um, creating more of these panel edges. So if we go to our solid view, you'll see now we've got some more of these hard edges put in and they're all been marked as sharp edges as I detailed in the previous tutorial. So that helps us to keep our smooth curved surface but also keep these hard edges on the panel lines. Um, we've also added in some color. I added in another band of color here, the silverish uh, slightly um, lighter color which is this band here um, and we've added in these panels. So um, I'm going to show you now how we go about doing the panels which, which have these um, curved inside parts you can see here these these uh, radius corners so that's these two panels that I've got left to do um, I've done one here which already has one of those radius corners I'm just going to go through in detail how it's actually done so we'll go over to our front view again switch over into material mode um, and we're going to work on this panel here so first of all we're going to select all of the faces within that panel. So we need those also. Um, once we have all of those selected, we want to create a um, a small raised panel area, and then there's going to be a, a recess on the inside. So if we take a look at how the other one here has been formed, you can see we've got the, the panel channel and then a recess on the inside. That's exactly what we're going to do here. So the first um, channel is formed in the same way. We'll hit I. And then we're going, going to want to go around and select the faces inside there and once we've got those E to extrude and we extrude in about 0 0.03 once we're done with that go back to our front view Go back to our material. Now again we're going to select all these faces inside of what we just created. Hit I again and want to size this around that large. Now the whole of this is going to be extruded inwards. So we hit E to extrude and we'll come in a good amount of distance. Once we're done with that, we can get hold of our edge select and we just want to select the four corners, the four interior corners. Let's grab the wrong one there. I'm going to make sure you get those inside corners. Okay, once we have those, Control B to bevel. We drag this out. Now we're going to want to increase the segment count so we get a curved edge. Jump back over into solid object view. You see now we've got the the curved corners there. And it's being blocked slightly by that uh, edge that we have, so we can actually 
get rid of that edge if we wanted we can slide it along so grab that edge Can remove it. And we can grab these two edges here and we can recreate that face. We need to join up the vertices. doesn't quite work. Just go back. What I'm trying to do is grab both of those faces and bevel. See how it's growing up the one side but not on the other, so we'll just keep that slightly lower down there so that things stay in proportion better. There we go. Now we've got our um, curve that looks more in proportion and even. The only thing I want to do then is add some bevels to catch the light and mark up our edges as being sharp. So. We'll come back here into edit mode. Now we're going to want to select the edges around here. These outside edges. And also these edges here. So we're going to want to give all of these a small bevel so that they'll catch the light and uh, you know nothing really is um, has perfectly sharp corners in reality so by having a slight bevel to those edges helps to make things look a bit more realistic they'll catch the light better when we come to lighting and texturing the model and certainly on closer up views, it will just help to make everything look a little more realistic. 
we just have to finish selecting all these edges so we we, we can um, mark them sharp and then we'll bevel So you will um, bevel first. We just want a very small amount, say 0 0.05. So 0 0.005. We'll go as low as 3. And we just need two segments, that's all. And then once we're done with that, we have to mark up the edges as sharp. I don't select all those edges. We'll mark sharp. Come back out into object mode, and then I have our panel with the curved in, in interior edges on it. So if we come back across now to our front view. You can see that our panel lines are all starting to match up now with what you can see um, on our reference image. So I'm just going to jump back into time lapse mode while I do this um, right side panel and then this other left side panel here. And these panels are along the bottom. And once we're done with those, um, we can then start adding in some more detail to the body here, such as these various protrusions um, and other details. You can see on the reference image inside of some of these panels we have some other objects before we do the head and then move on to the legs.